Uh, results are in now from the Wisconsin primary. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump had already secured enough votes to clinch their party's nominations. And of course, they both won in Wisconsin. But tens of thousands of Wisconsin voters used this primary to send a message to President Biden over his handling of the crisis in Gaza. Voters also weighed in on two referendum questions that could change how elections are run in the state. So Bailey Hurley is here now. Bailey, you're live in studio to uh, break down these results for us. Leah, both of those ballot questions you mentioned, they passed in Wisconsin. The initiatives led by Republicans in the state. Question one, it bans private donations and it grants uh, and grants from being used to run elections in the state. Now, question two, that requires that only election officials who are designated by the law can administer elections. That second issue, it's something that was already a law in Wisconsin, but experts explain adding the language now to the state constitution, that will make it harder to repeal. Now, former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden both swept their primaries last night, Trump winning about 79% of Republican primary votes, Biden securing more than 88% of Democratic primary votes. Leah, though, as for that message being sent by voters to President Joe Biden, we know almost 48,000 Democrats in the state of Wisconsin cast a vote for what's called unstructured delegation. It's Wisconsin's equivalent to the uncommitted vote. All of this done in an effort by voters to urge the president to change the way that he's handling Israel and Gaza. I seriously am against, like, both parties support for the genocide happening in Gaza. Both Democrats and Republicans have really been uh, two sides of the same coin in that regard, um, and even on a lot of domestic issues. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty fed up with the two-party system. Now, Wisconsin is a key swing state. Both former President Trump and President Biden will be fighting for this November. Former President Trump, he won it back in 2016, but President Joe Biden... He took it in 2020. A lot to keep track of here, Leah. It certainly is. Bailey Hurley reporting for us. Now, there were also some primary elections happening yesterday in Connecticut, New York, and Rhode Island. And you can count on 5 Witness News for complete coverage throughout the campaign cycle until those final results roll in this November.